Hey guys, Diggin' Dave here, back with a classic two-box penny hunt. You guys know I like the pennies. This box here, we have a reverse wheat penny ender in box two. Box number one, circulated pennies, but I didn't see any enders. Let's start with box one, let's get digging, and let's see what we can find. Very first roll, roll number one of box one is going to give me a weedy. I think that's just some damage. 1945. All right, let's keep on digging. Roll number seven. Gonna get Wheat Penny number two for box one of 56 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll 13 is gonna be a double Wheat Penny roll. We have an oldie here. I already saw the date, which is pretty nice. But Wheat Penny number three is a 42 Philadelphia. And Wheat Penny number four, you can just tell by the reverse. It's an old wheat penny. It's going to be a 1919 S. 1919's pretty uh, common, high mintage. Uh, Denver and San Francisco are still not rare, but lower mintage. But a 1919 S. That's a nice find right there. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I'm on roll 23 of box one. No more wheat pennies. But I got two Younghead Canadians. I always consider these like a Canadian wheat penny. An older one, 1957. What's this one here? The most common year is 63 and 64. Probably a 64. No, a 53. Wow, I found two Younghead Canadians and a, a 53 and a 57. That's pretty cool. Roll 26, we're going to get Wheat Penny number 5, a 57 Denver. And guys, a little note just to let you all know. Um, I'm having a lot of newer 2022 Philadelphia pennies in these rolls. So, and they are circulated, but I have a good amount of newer pennies in here. So, you know, the more new pennies you have, the less older stuff you're going to find, but... Hey, we still have five wheat pennies and a couple old Canadians, so we're still finding stuff, but a lot of 2022 Philadelphias. Let's keep on digging. Really quick, guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure and click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, make sure and check out my Diggin' Dave Facebook page where you can post your coin roll hunting finds, or maybe you just have a coin question. It's a really fun community. I'll have a link in the description. Let's get digging back into this video. Well, box one slowed down quite a bit, but I'm on roll 44. And I'm going to get Wheat Penny number six. It's going to be a 1944 Philly. But it does look like we have a bit of a lamination or some type of crack on the back there. Some Yeah, it looks like a lamination error. That's pretty cool. Probably doesn't add much value because 44 is very common. And it's in pretty bad condition. But, um, yep, wheat penny number six. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I just finished penny box number one. Didn't get any more wheat pennies. Um, Only got six wheat pennies, a little below my average. But there was a lot of 2020, uh, 2022, excuse me, Philadelphia. So, you know, a lot of newer pennies is probably a reason but I want to show you guys, as you can see right here, um, I got a few of these. I don't know if I'll hold on to all of them, but it's called the Spiked Head. These are 2022, where there's a die crack running from Lincoln's head up to the rim. That's why it's called the Spiked Head. I've seen some of them on eBay sell for a couple bucks, so I might hold on to a few of them. And then I found this beautiful 1969S. I wish it was the double die. It'd be a valuable coin. Uh, but this is pretty cool. This has a pretty uh, extreme machine doubling. If you guys look there. Pretty nice machine doubling. And uh, I see some of these sell on eBay from 15 to 20 bucks, $10. Because uh, for a lot of people, that's probably the closest thing you're going to get to a 69S double die, even though it is just machine doubling. Because a lot of people don't have ten plus thousand dollars, depending on condition, for a legit sixty-nine S double die. But yeah, we also got uh, two older Canadians in box one: the fifty-three, the fifty-seven, 
And I didn't show all these, but got a few other Canadians as well. 1970, 99, 89. So not a terrible box. And we did get that, um, the oldest find in box one was that 1919 San Francisco. All right, guys, let's keep on digging into box number two for this video. Rule number four of box two. It's going to give me the first wheat penny for box two. 1945. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll of box two. Roll number five. I saw the date on this already, guys, but this is an oldie. Has some cool, like, wood grain look to it. It's a 1917 with a... Uh, some interesting, uh, like, I think they call it a woody, where it's got kind of a wood grain look. 1917. There's a possible double die for 17, and that doesn't look like the double die, but a 1917, that's a, that's a nice oldie. Sweet. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, well, box number two starting off good. Roll number six. Uh, roll number six actually had the, reverse ender it was like this on the roll ended up being a 1954 denver wheat penny number three and there was another wheat penny in the roll with it wheat penny number four for box two a 1940 out of philadelphia let's keep on digging well hit a little uh cold spot rolled 22 won a lot of rolls with nothing but finally got another wheat penny wheat penny number five for box two just a 1945, but I'll take it. Let's keep on digging. Well, very next roll. Didn't have to wait as long this time. Wheat Penny number six. Going to be a 1953 out of Denver. Roll 27 of box two. Going to get Wheat Penny number seven. Oh, it's a little bit of an oldie again. 1934. I think there's a double die for 1934. I don't see any doubling or anything. Another nice old weedy. We got a 1917 earlier, now a 1934. And we're just a little bit past the halfway point. Let's keep on digging. Got another wheat penny in the very next roll of box two. Wheat penny number eight. 1942. Out of Philly. Nice. Just decided to go through the rest of the rolls, guys, in box two. I got four more wheat pennies, so we're going to end box two with 12 wheat pennies. That's about my average. Got a 47S. Let me zoom in. 47S, a 39, a 58 Denver, and a 45 Denver. So like I said, we're going to end box two with 12 wheat pennies. Not too bad. I think the oldest was that 1917. Also got a few Canadians. Nothing old in the Canadians, but, um, well, what did we get? Is that a 64? Yeah, 64 young head. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a wrap-up for this two-box penny hunt. I'll be right back. So here we go, guys. This was not a bad two-box penny hunt. Got quite a few Canadians. I got a 53 and I think a 57 young head, so two older Canadians. Guys, these are all the 2022s with the spiked head or the die crack on top of Lincoln's head. I found quite a few of those 2022. I just put them in a tube. Like I said, I got a total of 18 wheat pennies, box one, six wheat pennies, and box two had 12 wheat pennies. Got this 69S with the really uh, strong machine doubling. And uh, the three oldest wheat pennies I found in this hunt were a 1917, a 34, and a 1919S. Hope you guys enjoyed this $50 penny hunt. Make sure and like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, keep on digging.